Okay, thank you. Tak tahu, sorry. So, fishing is not a job for the profession. Hey, peace and blessings be upon you. I'm Jin Tertin. Right now, I'm at Bugis. And I'm going to bring you to the Malay Heritage Center. Yeah, let's just follow me. So right now, we've reached the Golden and Mark Village Hotel. Right now, we are at the main entrance of the Sultan Mosque. Excuse me. And here we are at the Malay Heritage Center. Okay. Right now, I'm in Malay Heritage Center. What's interesting about this place was that it was, in, it was originally the palace of the sultans or the Singapore sultans, which was basically also the American Straits. Okay, thank you. Tak tahu, sorry. Again, the security is trying to stop me from skipping. I'm not really doing much, anyways. So, um, another interesting fact about this, or I mean, in relation to myself was that my late grandmother used to stay within the palace grounds and that's all about me but let's actually look around about uh, what Tabaret Warisan actually has um, so this is a space that, they, uh, that I initially as I think was a more of a courtyard kind of setting where the villagers and the kings would actually sit around and yeah have functions and all this now the function is that is is gonna have they're gonna hold a lot of like small festivals like recently they just held this uh siri na siri na pas which is basically uh, an exhibition and basically a cultural exhibition on the bugis uh, Alright, so right now I'm outside uh, one of the auditoriums in the Malay Heritage Center. Um, yeah. uh, uh, can I, uh, may I know what's your name? I'm Jia Shi here. Uh, do they hold like arts events mostly? Or mm -hmm. is it like very specific for like this kind of training? Well, actually, it's a space uh, for the community as well. So we do have arts events. Uh, festivals. In fact, the, the, the weekend that just passed, um, there was the, a, a festival under our Singapore Heritage Festival umbrella. And in fact, um, I think Benedict Cumberbatch was in town. Oh, yeah. of our you heard it there, eh? that basically there's a lot of events. They try to make, they try to hold arts events or cultural events mm, almost every weekend. So every weekend that you can, you can, you come down here and you're gonna experience the Malay culture. I think if I get the chance, you're gonna meet someone who's gonna, who's gonna inform you more about the Malay culture itself or the Malays itself uh, right after this. I'm gonna take a break. I need to sit down. I need some drinks. See ya. And I just met. So here's Mr. Rafaat bin Haji Hamza, a well-known artist without the in, in the Malay, in the Singapore Malay community. He just had a, an exhibition called Melayu Minati. Min, Melayu Minati at the Arts House. 
Uh, sadly, it's, it's now being brought to Jogja where he currently stays. So you might find some photos if you look out for hashtag Melayu Who were who were the first inhabitants of the Istana Kampung Melayu? Istana. Huh. This Istana was the the actually from the Johor Sultan. So he descended from those who were supposed to take care of the island. So to like really make sure that there's nothing happened to Singapore, make sure it's, like, it's run properly. But then, then we thought that when 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 the British first came and they actually label the inhabitants in Singapore as uh, uh, they look at Singapore as a Malay, a lazy fisherman village, you know. But uh, historically, because uh, these people living around around the shore of Singapore, they are not fishermen. They are actually uh, the likes of the navy or more of conservation conservation post uh, guard post guard to the those of the navy. So fishing is not the job, it's not the profession. So. What do you think, uh, or as an as the as an artist? Do you think the Malay Heritage Centre plays a vital role in the Malay as uh, in the safekeeping of the so-called Malay culture? I think the, the Malay Heritage Centre uh, may seem small, you know, it's a, it's a small thing compared to other other museums, National Gallery, National Arts Museum, and all that, uh, which, which falls under the Heritage uh, National Heritage Board, but. As small as it is, uh, I think Malay Heritage Centre has been contributing a lot to retain the history and to, to share with people what, uh, the Malay, what the Malay titles are all about, what the Malay art is uh, all about. I think uh, it is a very important function because uh, uh, you cannot deny that Malay Heritage Centre has been doing quite no? Not a bit, but just quite a lot. Of ma major, they've been playing a major part in introducing, reintroducing, and uh, keeping the early heritage in Singapore. So it, it's actually it's one of my my favorite place to, to hang around whenever I come back to Singapore because this is where the, there's there's always an event in Malay heritage so every any time at any time any point of time around the year that I come back to Singapore. So, Malay Heritage Centre is very, very, very important. I cannot say that um, the Malay Heritage Centre uh, contribute a lot to my work, but the thing is, the, the position that is there, is here, and it's a place that I can, I will meet, definitely meet my regular friends around this area, because these are the areas that they, it's their playground. The, the artists, the musicians, the dancers, the, the theatre practitioners, the writers, uh, this is their playground. So, somehow or other, the position of the Malay Heritage Centre, the contribution of the Malay Heritage Centre, uh, producing works and artworks and cultural, cultural activity here, does contribute to, to, to my work in Georgia. Because I'm, I'm still very much uh, affected with a lot of things in Singapore. You know, so... Boleh ya, boleh tanya. Cukup batu. Cukup batu. Dah lebih explode semua. I think that's, uh, I think that's enough. Cukup batu. You can deep dive a lot more. But I think you should check out Rafat Haji Hamza's work. Uh, mostly on Instagram right now. Um, there's a lot of pieces, there's a lot of writings. Even if you don't understand Malay, you can Google translate them. Some of some of your works have been translated to English also, which is good. Right now, there's a like a beam of holy light suddenly coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, may they yeah may there so, be light in our life. <laughs> may there be light in our life. Uh, I think that's it. May peace and blessings be upon you. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>